It, it was scary, I almost died. And the only thing that happened was one of my decals got scuffed up on the fork. Long story short, I got hung up on some rocks and had to jump off my bike to the trail below, which there were rocks beyond that trail and then a drop. Actually, it was cliff. I should have broke a leg. I didn't get hurt at all jumping into the darkness. Wish I could have seen it from his point of view. He was just coming around the lower trail. His light beam caught me jumping across. Yeah, whatever. So I went ahead and ordered some new ones. Now, here's where I went wrong. I got online and I started searching, knowing that I should have gone to a certain website to get these decals. But after searching their building decals that I really liked, you had shipping to it. It was like 50 bucks. And I don't feel like paying 50 bucks for stickers. So I got on Google, I searched Rock Shocks Yari decals. I found some that I thought were pretty good because you could select all these different patterns and colors and they were cheap. They were like, 11 bucks. I went ahead and ordered them. I didn't look at where I was ordering from. I know, dumb mistake. It was on Etsy. I've never shopped on Etsy. I never will again because it didn't tell me where they were coming from until after ordering them and getting my shipment information that they were coming from Turkey. Just a quick disclaimer. I have nothing against the country Turkey or its stickers. I'm sure there's someone between here and the other side of the world that can produce these stickers, but nothing against the country turkey. I'm sure it's full of fantastically wonderful people and beautiful lands. Okay. So needless to say, it took an, uh, like a month, an entire month I waited for these and they're not even that good. I don't even think that these are vinyl. Wondering what they're gonna look like after getting wet. I haven't taken this one out of the package yet. I'm not too worried about it. This one was, I was looking forward to this. This was supposed to be oil slick. Yes, I know oil slick is this fad that has, and it said they were metallic. These are not metallic. It's like, it's just a sticker. It's it's not reflective at all. It's just a pattern. Can you see it? It's pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these. We're gonna see how this goes. Hoping I don't need to use like a heat gun or anything. I'm hoping I can just like pick at it and peel it off and then stick the new ones on. I've never done this before. My guess is the first thing I should do is take off the front wheel. Then I imagine the best thing to do would be really clean the fork really well. Then I would probably use masking tape, mark off where the old decals are so I know where to put the new ones. This came off much easier than I thought it was going to. I did not have to use any kind of scraper or chemicals or anything like that, a heat gun. Just started picking at it and pulling. Now I've noticed, as you can see, there's a very defined line here where um, the sticker was. So I'm guessing this is from the soap that I've used, I don't know. If you don't have this line, I would say, go ahead and put the new decal on first before taking the other side off. So that way you have some reference on lining up the, uh, the angle here. So yeah, on to the other side. Here's the old decal, here's the new decals. Same, same, but different. The new ones look better. So let's take these out of the package and see if maybe these look any better than the oil slick ones. These aren't much better. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is you, there's like lines. These may not even be vinyl, who knows? I'm gonna put these on. This one's creased too. It's gonna be hard to tell with this lens. It's not a macro lens, so I can't really get that close. Let's, so yeah, so it's, you can see here's the crease. There's like these lines. It's just not a very solid, sharp print. And like the black is running into the yellow there. The longer you look at it, oh, sorry. The longer you look at it, the worse it looks. So I'm gonna stop looking at it and just put it on. I don't think the gloves are gonna work for putting on decals. It's just a guess of mine. So off with the gloves. For sure would not have been able to do this with gloves on. When putting these stickers on, what you wanna do, start in the middle and then wrap around. You don't wanna start on one of the sides. The best that we can, line up to that top. And then slowly work your finger up and down, get that on there. So that way it 
lays down flat. There we go. You know, it's, it's, it's not that bad. It actually looks pretty good. The sizing is slightly off. And I mean like a couple millimeters. Pretty much the same size. So let's go ahead and throw this other side on, pulling up the top, and then work your way from the middle out. Was that even focused that whole time I was putting that on there? I hope so. Nope. This one, I don't know where to put it. I don't know which way it should go. I'm gonna do that. I don't know where the center is. I did not mark a center point. That would have been very helpful to have. Throwing her down, going, going at it hard. Yeah, it looks fine. It's good enough. Just to pop a color at the top is all it really is. Who cares what it says, how it says it. All right, so this is what we are going to be taking off, replacing. Now there is a difference here. Okay, got this on here so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. So you, could, if you have a RockShox fork, you you've probably seen this to where it, it just says rebound because that's what it is. It's the rebound, nothing more. This says rapid recovery rebound. Maybe the new forks have this on. I don't know. Do the new forks have this on there? Mine's a 2020 model. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I am quite surprised. I think they look pretty good. I don't see these holding up for too long. Also, if you watched my last video, the SX versus GX, let me clear something up. I guess these are the thoughts I was trying to get out in that video, but never was able to because the battery died. Later, I could have shot something explaining it, but well, I'm doing that now. Major differences that I noticed right away, build was much better. The jockey wheels had bearings in them, good sealed bearings versus just like, it's not even a bearing, it's just a cap kind of on the SX. The clutch clearly made a huge difference. Another thing I noticed, the cable routing on the derailleur was much different than the SX. Just seems much more thought out on the GX. As far as shifting goes, I now have a GX shifter. Also thanks to B's cycle, which we need to talk about that in the next video. Shifting wise was fantastic, dead on. There is no slack. In the SX, even though you would have it dialed in perfect, shifting would be great until it started to get a little dirty. Sometimes there in the middle, it could shift a little hard, start to go shift and you'd have to kind of shift the... What I'm getting at is it's a massive difference. So if you have an SX drivetrain, go ahead and upgrade the derailleur to a GX. NX was probably good enough, but the GX, I noticed a huge difference. As far as cons or downsides from upgrading from an SX to a GX is um, none. Absolutely none. There are no cons. All right, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. Notifications, uh, I don't know. Do it, see what happens. If you didn't like this video, hit dislike twice, rewatch it three quarter speed, and maybe you will like it after that. Yeah.